In the next 30 minutes, you will meet with doctors from multiple practices throughout the tri-state area. These doctors are amongst the best in their fields. Let's find out what makes them successful and hear how they answer questions asked by you, the viewer. These are the doctors and this is Talk To My Doctors. The Samra Group is home to four of New Jersey's top plastic surgeons. They are specialists in cosmetic, reconstructive and hand surgeries. Here you can also find the luxury spa Jenny's. My partners and I, we're, we're four plastic surgeons in our group, have two main offices and we support two medical spas and we also have a surgical center that we're affiliated with. Approximately 11 or 12 years ago, my son Assad joined and has been with me since. Dr. Mujal Patel joined a couple of years after that and my son Salim came to the practice four years ago. We really help one another, we support one another, we advise one another and uh, it's working wonderfully for us. Growing up in a house full of doctors, I was always encouraged to go into the medical field. I realized that surgery was where I found my interests in. and in the field of plastic surgery it was really a happy specialty where I was able to treat people either for happy problems or even the happy part of a more difficult problem, whether it be trauma related or cancer related. And so I found myself also attracted to plastic surgery. Getting to work uh, with my family uh, is a unique opportunity. It's fun in, in that we get to spend time together. We help each other out in the operating room. I tell patients that one of the benefits of our practice is that you're always gonna have two plastic surgeons in the operating room with you for the price of one. Patients come to us and say that, you know, they don't want to have a, um, a look that uh, uh, gives the appearance that they've uh, had a procedure done. And uh, particularly when it comes to Botox, they don't want to have a, oftentimes they'll say a frozen look or something that takes away some of their natural uh, movements of their face. And really our objective here is really to try to provide a natural uh, appearance that is uh, refreshed appearing, but without having the sense that all the movement of the face has been taken away. And whether it's Botox or other fillers, the objective is to really provide the medicine in a very targeted way. There's a, uh, certainly a, a great degree of art involved in that in order to bring about uh, a youthful, refreshed appearance and keeping it natural. Here at the SAMRA Group, we do the whole spectrum of plastic surgery, uh, which ranges from reconstructive, whether from trauma or cancer, uh, breast cancer, for example, or skin cancer of the face. Uh, cosmetic can be in the face uh, or the breast and body, uh, as well as hand surgery, including things like carpal tunnel, trigger finger, or even hand fractures and other trauma. I personally do a great deal of hand surgery, a lot of traumatic uh, injuries. I also do elective hand surgery, probably the most common procedures, uh, carpal tunnel release. I do it endoscopically. We have many products in our toolbox that we use. We use uh, Botox and there's a couple of other similar products, but Botox is the one that is mostly used in reducing uh, wrinkling in the glabella in the forehead and the crow's feet area. Juvederm is mostly used in enhancing the area around the mouth and the lips and in the nasolabial fold area and what's called the marionette line area. Voluma is used in enhancing the cheek area. We have other products too, like uh, Radies, like Bolotero, and even Allergan has offered us many other products for lips specific to fine lines, specific to enhancing certain very limited concerns in that area. Among the cosmetic procedures, the procedure uh, that we do the most are, are probably the body contouring procedures. The procedure we do with highest volume is uh, the tummy tuck. 
The difference between liposuction and a tummy tuck is actually pretty vast. Uh, liposuction is considered a minimally invasive procedure because of the fact that the procedure is done through small poke holes that are done in the skin. Liposuction basically describes a procedure in which through a small incision, numbing medication is instilled into the fatty layer, and then a cannula is placed through that incision to suction out fat, hence the term liposuction. Advances in liposuction have gone on to include the use of energy, such as ultrasound or laser, to heat up that fat, to melt it effectively, to hopefully increase the amount of fat that can be removed during liposuction. In the setting of specifically laser liposuction, and here at Samer Plastic Surgery, we use, we use laser-assisted liposuction in the form of smart lipo. We're able to not only heat and melt up the fat, but then also heat the skin to encourage contraction of the skin, which ultimately gives a better outcome to the patient. That is very different from a tummy tuck, otherwise known as an abdominoplasty, where a large incision is made on the lower crease of the abdomen. We then go through the skin and fat to the muscle layer, and as we go up toward the breastbone, we then are freeing up all of that loose skin and fat off of the abdominal wall. We then will pull down to actually remove the excess skin and fat of that lower abdomen and in so doing, we improve the contour of the abdomen. Also, liposuction can be used to describe any sort of a procedure that's done on the body. You can have liposuction of the neck, you can have liposuction of the arms or the thighs, but a tummy tuck, of course, is just confined to the abdomen itself. The typical recovery process uh, varies based on procedure and based on patient, but in general, for uh, the cosmetic surgeries that we do most frequently, I think that patients are looking at a three week period before they're feeling back to normal again. But again, uh, that can vary. Uh, we've seen motivated patients uh, back to work a week after a tummy tuck, a week after a breast augmentation. It varies from patient to patient, but for the most part, most people are feeling uh, themselves at three weeks. The spa works wonderfully with our plastic surgery practice. The spa is a place where non-invasive or minimally invasive procedures are done. The patients that are seen in our plastic surgery office may be surgical patients, may be post-trauma patients, may be post-cancer reconstruction patients, and they're in a totally different mindset from the ones that we see in our medical spa where we're looking for luxury, we're looking for a, a little enhancement, we're looking for a treat to themselves. Our doctors are always available for the spa patients if they are needed. A face lift or a face and neck lift, as it is most often performed, is a very popular procedure that we perform uh, for people who have uh, experiencing a lot of the aging process uh, on their face, who have uh, developed a sagging of the cheeks, who have excess skin and, and soft tissue around their jawline, and who have lost some of the definition around the neck. And uh, a face and neck lift can create significant improvement in those areas for the, uh, the right patient. Oftentimes, I'll meet patients that are not candidates for face or neck lift. I think old therapy provides an excellent option for some of those patients. It's a non-surgical way to rejuvenate the face, frequently the lower face uh, and neck area. It creates tightening. The way it's done is uh, through an ultrasound energy that's used to heat up the tissues underneath, then stimulates collagen production and causes tightening of those areas and gives better definition to the areas around the jawline, the neck, uh, and it's a wonderful alternative to uh, face and neck lift for many people. What I'd like to say to someone who is considering having uh, cosmetic surgery is uh, to know that right in their backyard that uh, Samra Plastic Surgery is here. We have over 30 years of experience. Uh, we treat all sorts of uh, areas of the body for cosmetic procedures and have uh, a tremendous amount of success in doing that. Uh, we treat people uh, with the utmost respect and privacy. We have a private surgical center where we can uh, have their procedure done uh, in comfort and uh, we have uh, a very welcoming staff with uh, locations both in Old Bridge and Homedale to be convenient to wherever they live. Mm -hmm.